Hello, I'm Matu Jamir, and you're watching on Real TV's Prime at 9, now headlines. Central Bureau of Investigation on Friday arrested Geeta Rawat, an Amadmi Party leader on charges of corruption. According to the CBI, this bribe money used to reach Geeta Rawat through middleman. Today is the last day for campaigning for the third phase of elections in Uttar Pradesh, which will be held on 20 February. Campaigning and this evening for Punjab Assembly elections. Karnataka High Court bench hearing petitions on Hijab Pro on Friday directed the state government to see to it that its interim order is not violated. Teachers wearing hijab are also being stopped by officials saying that they are carrying out the interim orders of the High Court. Union Minister of Parliamentary Affairs Pralad Joshi told Karnataka government not to hesitate to arrest outsiders who come to schools and colleges to make girl students wear hijab in classrooms. Only students and staff should be allowed inside the premises of schools and colleges, he noted. The Central Bureau of Investigation on Friday arrested Geeta Rawat, an Amadmi party leader, on charges of corruption. According to reports, the East Delhi Municipal Corporation Consular had demanded rupees 20,000 under the table from a person for extending him the favor to lay the roof of the, his building. According to the CBI, Geeta Rawat was demanding 20,000 from the victim in lieu of getting the roof built. The victim filed a complaint. The CBI first arrested one of the middlemen to whom the victim had given 20,000 rupees. This middleman had put up a street vendor outside the consular's office. According to the CBI, this bribe money used to reach Geeta Rawat through middlemen. However, the search is still on. Today is the last day for campaigning for the third phase of elections in Uttar Pradesh, which will be held on 28 February. The state is going for polls in seven phases from 10 February to 7 March. All political parties are doing last-ditch efforts to garner the support of voters. Yesterday was the last day of nomination for seventh phase of election in state and the nomination process is now over for the assembly elections. On the other hand, Cacophony of campaign falls silent this evening on the 59th seats of 16 districts of states where polling is in third phase of elections. Yesterday, Samajwadi Party Patriarch Mulayam Singh Yadav campaigned for his son and the party chief Akhilesh Yadav at Mani Manpuri and Itawa districts. It was first appearance of the senior leader on public platform after announcement of elections in state. Senior PJP leader and Union Home Minister Amit Shah also campaigned for party's candidates in Shiokabad, Mainpuri and Lakhimpur Kheri. Today also many senior PJP leaders including Party President J.P. Nada, Chief Minister Yogi Arityanath, Deputy Chief Minister Keshav Prasad Maurya and State PJP President Sotantra Dev Singh campaigned for the party candidates at different places. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra addressed Pratikya virtual Maharali today. SP Samajwadi Party Akhilesh Yadav and AIMIM Chief Azauddin Uwasi campaigned for party candidates in Jolan district. Meanwhile, campaigning ends this evening for Punjab Assembly elections. Election Commission has asked all star campaigners and non-voters to move out of the constituency by 6 p.m. today. The Commission has also said that all rallies and public meetings will end at 6 p.m., though candidates and their supporters can go for door-to-door -door silent campaigning after that. Punjab Police and Central Paramilitary Force personnel will start checking hotels, lodges, community centres and other places to move out the outsiders and non-voters from the constituency. Punjab will go to single-phase polling on Sunday to elect a new assembly.
You know, Minister of Parliamentary Affairs Prala Joshi on Friday told the Karnataka government not to hesitate to arrest outsiders who come to schools and colleges to make girls students wear hijab in classrooms. Some persons are ill intentionally not allowing the hijab road to end. Not following the court order is too much and it cannot be tolerated, he said. The government should take strict actions wherever the court order is not followed. Only students and staff should be allowed inside the premises of schools and colleges. Some gundas and others creating chaos in front of schools and colleges should not be tolerated, he noted. In reply to the Congress's protest in the session of the state legislature over Minister K.S. Ishwarappa's statement, Joshi opined that staging protests is the only work for the Congress now. He prayed to the Almighty to keep them in the same situation for next 5 to 10 years. People have several problems and the opposition has the opportunity in the session to give constructive suggestions in this regard. But they are protesting over a non-issue just for the vote bank politics, he charged. If the people violate, whether it is Kesari Shal or Hijab, if somebody violates, there should be stern action, they should be put behind bars. We should try to convince the students and if at all somebody gathers other than student in front of the educational institution, there should be strict action. This is the high time, this is too much. When tomorrow any decision by the High Court should it not be followed. And now it has given interim order that everybody should, should follow such a thing. Now two, three days have been given to them. They are being persuaded, they are being tried to con convince and after all these efforts also, if they deliberately try to violate the law, then there should be a very firm action by the state government and state. Air India said on Friday that it will operate three flights between India and Ukraine later this month. The statement comes at a time when the US and its NATO allies have warned of the possibility of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. According to Air India, the three flights between India and the Burspil International Airport in Kiev will be operated on February 22nd, February 24 and February 26. For this purpose, Air India has decided to use its Boeing 787 Dreamliner. A single Boeing 787 Dreamliner can accommodate as many as 256 passengers. Air India also said that those looking to travel to or from Ukraine can book their tickets through Air India booking offices, websites, call centers or authorized travel agents. In the interest of public, especially the residents of JK village and surrounding areas, Minister for Public Health Engineering Jacob Jimomi has come forward to fund for reconstruction of the long-neglected approach road of JK village third mile and the Chumukitima district. The approach road, which was constructed in the year 1959, has been left unmaintained for more than 63 years and was in a deplorable condition. With the minister's funding, the construction of the said road has been taken up and the development is in progress. This is not the first time the minister is initiating such noble action. Earlier, he also took up some other abandoned development projects and completed it. Meanwhile, JK Village Council and GPs have lauded the minister Jumomi for taking up the project in his personal capacity. Council Chairman Hukavi Jumomi also mentioned that the approach road connects four other neighboring villages. Let's have a look at a detailed report. Check your village to 1959 year to establish the city. We have to be able to the city. We have to be able to the city. We have to be able to get the city. We have to be able to get the city. We have to be able to get the city. We Busti established no ha get a British can take Adam de Bray to concrete pavement road to Tagisha. Can to it to pitch the to leto department will be we can busti manu will be to major road as a Bishi Lamba stretch as a it to Banabole to leto Puisabra to the Mukan Napare. It to name the Iman Salto leto it to Rasta to leto maintenance Natagabra neglect we can Isha. Can to itia itu aru ekta kobole mundu itu Rasta to leto Kalicheke lagan hoy. 
হয়তো ইমিডিয়েট নেবারিং ভিলেজ থিলেখে দারোগ পাথর ইকশে ডিপু পাড় এই তো সব এই তো রাস্তা তো হলে তো একদম চলাই থাকে লাগা রাস্তা একটা তো মানে এই তো নাপারিয়াপরা মানে লাগা অনারেবল মিনিস্টার মান গাছ পানি ওয়ান লাগা রিপ্রেজেন্টেটিভকে এপ্রোচ করেছিল তো এই তো এপ্রোচ করে তাই পরা তাই নিজের তাই লাগা এক্সপেন্সপরা খুশি পরা তাই বানাই দিব কই কেন রাস্তা তো চাই কেন রাস্তা তো হলে তো হলে তো ইমান বস্তি পুরা ইউটিলাইজ করা করা লাগা রাস্তা আছে এই তো তাই বানাই দিব কই কেন এটা বানা তো হলে তো নাম সাম পুরা বানা লাগা রাস্তা নহ এই তো এই তো রেপিউটেড ফর্ম লাগা মেশিনারি খান হালি কেন মানে খান এটা এই তো ব্লেক টপিং তো হলে তো একদম সেটিসফেক্টরিলি বানাই কেন যা আছে এই তো এপ্রক্সিমেটলি সিক্স কিলোমিটার সিনা থাকিব এটা আজি টক তো হলে তো ওয়ান পয়েন্ট ফাইভ কিলোমিটারপর অল্প বেশি তো বানাই কেন যা আছে আর মান আখা আছে মান লাগা এই তো ভাবনা তো হলে তো আপ টু তো এগ্রি এক্সপো জাংশন টক তো হলে তো মান এই তো রাস্তা তো তারপর বানাই দিব গে না একদম ডর বিশ্বাস আছে একদম খুশি জনাই দিয়ে আছে আমি এখান এতে ভিলেজ কাউন্সিল চেক কে ভিলেজ কাউন্সিল সেক্রেটারি পি আছে আমি এখান তাই লোটি পি কিবা কথা জানি স্যার কেন লাগি আছে ইমান সাল পিছিতে একটা রাস্তা ভাল উইটনেস করবো পাতে তো আমি এখান বেশি খুশি পাই আছে এই তো কয়া নিচিনা রাস্তা তো এপ্রক্সিমেটলি সিক্স কিলোমিটার নিচিনা আছে এই তো তিন মাইল গেট ওয়ান পরা লোক না এক্ট এক্সপোর্ট তাক লিঙ্ক করেছে বলে তো আমি এখান বস্তি লাগা ফান গভর্নমেন্ট সাইড পার পাই থাকার পরে এই তো বনাবলে না আর ডিপার্টমেন্টকে রিকুয়েস্ট করে থাকলে এই তো আসানি না হয় কিন্তু আমি খান লাগা বস্তি অথরিটি ভিলেজ চিফ খান জিবি খান আর মেম্বর খান যাই কেন কাউন্সিল মেম্বর খান যাই কেন আমি খান লাগা অনারেবল মিনিস্ট্রিকে রিকুয়েস্ট করেছে তো তাই ইমান মন খুশি পড়া এই রাস্তা তো বনায় দিয়ে আছে আমি খান বস্তি ভিতরতে কলোনি লাগা ব্লক লাগা লিঙ্ক করা রাস্তা খান দিলে বস্তি মানুষ খান কন্ট্রিবিউশন করে কেন গভর্নমেন্ট লাস্ট সাইডটি ফান্ড কি পাই আছে এই মিলাই কেন বনাই আছে কিন্তু এই তো রাস্তাটো হলে পিওরলি আমি খান লাগা অনারেবল মিনিস্টার পেছি শ্রী জকব জিমন পরা বনায় দিয়ে আছে না আমি খান বেশি খুশি পড়া রাস্তাটো এটা বনায় আছে আর কিতা কমপ্লিট করব আমি খান মন তেলে খুশি পড়া এই তাক তুলে তাইকে বিশ্বাস করে কেন বনায় দিব না রুখি রুখি আছে গে না জানে দিয়ে আছে আমি খান এই রাস্তার এপ্রোচ রোড এই ওপরতে রিপোর্ট বানা তেমনি আমি খান জানিছে এই আফটার ফিফটি ইয়ার্স এই রাস্তা তো ভাল এটা বানাই কিনা যা আছে বিষয় আর এই রিপোর্ট তো আমি এখান চে কে ভিলেজ তে লো আছে মোট রিপোর্টার জীবন রায় উইথ ক্যামেরা পার্সন সি এ ভিলে Karnataka High Court bench hearing petitions on Hijapro on Friday direct the state government to see the to it that its interim order is not violated the bench headed by chief justice Ritu Raj Awasti gave this direction of the advocate students brought to the notice of the bench that muslims are being troubled over the interim order advocate Tahir submitted before the court to provide clarity on the interim order prohibiting any religious symbols in the premises of colleges contending that the order is also being implemented in Urdu schools where all students and teachers are Muslims. He further stated that students are being asked to remove hijabs and burqas outside such colleges and schools following orders of Minority Welfare Department. Teachers wearing hijab are also being stopped by officials saying that they are carrying out the interim orders of the High Court. All departments are passing orders in this regard, he said. The bench asked the advocate to give a written submission on the matter and directed the government to see to it that interim orders are not violated. Advocate General Brabhuiling Nawadaki, representing the government, assured the court that it will be seen to it that not on oyota of the interim order is violated. The matter has been adjourned to Monday. Nagaland may soon have a Nagaland house in Chennai and a house for patients in Velour in Tamil Nadu. Updates on February 18 said, Nagaland Minister for PWT, Tongpang Mozakam and Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin met on February 14 in Chennai in regard to the matter. The pastor of Naga Christian Fellowship of Chennai, Pastor Wapang Tushi, expressed appreciation to the government of Nagaland led by Chief Minister Nipirio for understanding the need of the people of Nagaland in both Chennai and Velour of Tamil Nadu to have a Nagaland house in Chennai and a Naga patient house in Velour. 
This has become a reality by the meeting between Tongbang Ozukum and MK Stallion on February 14 and Chennai updates on February 18 said. The Nagaland government officials visited a land in Valicherry near Chennai airport for the Nagaland house and also visited Velour to identify a land for the construction of a Naga patient house, the update stated. Over the years, both Chennai and Velour have been important medical destinations for the people of Nagaland where they face immeasurable difficulties with regard to accommodation and official formalities in times of unfortunate circumstances, the update stated. A special court in Ahmedabad on Friday awarded the death penalty to 38 of 49 convicts in the 2008 serial blast case. The remaining 11 were awarded life imprisonment. The court had on February 8 convicted them for the serial blast of July 26, 2008 in the city which had claimed 56 lives and left over 200 persons injured. All were convicted under Section 16 of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, which deals with terrorism as well as IPC Sections 302, Murder and 120P, Criminal Conspiracy. They were also convicted under IPC Sections 307, Attempt to Murder, 121A, Conspiracy to Wage War or Attempt to Wage War against the Nation, and 124A, Sedition as well as Explosive Substances Act and Damage to Public Property Act. In the verdict, which came 13 years after the deadly blast, Special Judge A.R. Patel also acquitted 28 other accused, giving them the benefit of doubt. As many as 56 people were killed and 246 injured after 20 bombs were off in different areas of Ahmedabad within a span of 70 minutes on July 26, 2008. The police had claimed that members of their outfit Indian Mujahideen were involved in the blast, adding that they planned this blast as reven revenge for the 2002 post Kotra riots. Aaj roj namdar designated judge for bomb blast uh, court, Sri R Patel Sahib, kul 38 aropiyon ne brutiyo dandi saja kareli se, ane agyar aropiyon ne lifetime di saja kareli se. Aaj फांसी की सजा जे छे आरोपियों ने 302 भारतीय फौजदारी धारा नी कलम 302 तथा अनलॉफुल एक्टिविटी प्रिवेंशन एक्ट नी सेक्शन 16 मुजब आ तमाम आरोपियों जे 38 आरोपियों छे 38 आरोपियों ने हैंगिंग करवामा आवेली छे अने बाकी ना आरोपियों जे छे एमने आज लाइफ नी सजा करवामा आवेली छे अच्छा आज एक केस में जो है एक तो आप जानो तो तरफ में अपने साक्षियों ना 160 ना निवेदन आसीवाइ सेक्स एविडेंस सेक्स की कलम सत्या की सेक्टर ना जुदा-जुदा पंच नाम करवा माया था जब मैं आरोपियों ने पोते कई जगह मीटिंग करी होए कई जगह कावत्रु करी होए कई जगह बिजी मीटिंग वो करी होए कई जगह पोते एक्सप्लोर कर आ तमाम अकीकतों ने अने एक आरोपी है जो वन सिक्योरिटी कोर्ट में अप्रूवर थे इन्हें जो स्टेटमेंट आप यूट्यूब पे ऐनी पर जुबानी ध्याने रखी ने नामदार कोर्ट में आठ तीस आरोपियों ने फांसी नहीं सजा अने अज्ञात आरोपियों ने लाइफ सजा करी the Supreme Court on Friday directed the Uttar Pradesh government to refund crores of rupees recovered from anti-CAA protesters in view of proceedings initiated in 2019. The Yogi Adityanath-led government had told the Apex Court that on February 13 and 14, it withdrew 274 recovery notices issued against anti-CAA protests protesters for destruction of properties. A bench of justices D.Y. Chandrachud and Surya Khan said the state government will refund the entire amount worth crores of rupees recovered from the alleged protesters due to the proceedings initiated in 2019. It granted liberty to the UP government to proceed against alleged anti-CA protesters under the new law Uttar Pradesh Recovery of Damages to Public and Private Property Act notified on August 31, 2020. The bench refused to accept the submission of additional advocate general Karima Prashad that the protesters and the state government be allowed to move the claim tribunal instead of directing refunds.
Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur on February 18, while addressing a press conference in Chandigarh, attacked the incumbent Congress government in Punjab over security issues and corruption in the state. The state legislative assembly elections will be held on February 20 to elect 117 MLAs. The results will be declared on March 10. Chandni ji ne raj kitta din 111 kamaye note prashtha chaar to ho ge 911. Jodho pati jaa phadaya gya ta kende meri koi jimme daari ni, mera koi lana dena ni. Pardhan mantri ji ki suraksha pe sendh lagi, to kete meri koi jimme daari ni. Yaan tak ki Punjab ke logon se poocho transfer tak joh mukhya mantri nahi kar paaye. टॉस करके जो ट्रांसफरों की बात करें तो आपको निर्णय करने वाला नेता चाहिए कि टॉस करा के निर्णय करने वाला चाहिए कल को पंजाब में अगर कोई निर्णय लेने की बात आएगी तो बोलेगा हेड जाएगा तो ये टेल जाएगा तो ये क्या बॉर्डर स्टेट पंजाब ऐसे लोगों के हाथ में हो सकता है Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Arityanaud on February 18 while addressing a public rally in Mainpuri hit out at the opposition political parties and alleged that the whole country was ruined under the governance of other parties. Congress, Samajwadi Party, Powder and Samaj Party ruined the whole country before 2014. Uttar Pradesh, which used to lead the country, came to a stage where it faced an identity crisis in front of its youths. CM Yogi said that Uttar Pradesh is a pole-bound state. The results for UPS 7 elections will be declared on March 10. <laughs> और 2014 के पहले पूरे भारत की क्या दुर्गति कर दी थी कांग्रेस के नेताओं ने सपा बसपा ने मिल करके भाइयों बहनों जो उत्तर प्रदेश देश को नेतृत्व देता था जो उत्तर प्रदेश पूरे देश के लोगों के लिए हृदय स्थल था पिछले सपा बसपा सपा की सरकारों ने उस उत्तर प्रदेश की वह दुर्गति कर दी कि उत्तर प्रदेश के नौजवानों के सामने अपनी स्वयं की पहचान का संकटा खड़ा हुआ Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Arityanath on February 18 while addressing a public rally in Mainpuri slammed the opposition political parties and alleged that they came out after 4.5 years during the time of elections. We will use bulldozers after March 10 election results day for all those who were hiding for last 4.5 years but have come out during the elections, CM Yogi said. UP is a poll-bound state. The results for UPSM elections will be declared on March 10. आज आप देख रहे होंगे ये सभी जेल के अंदर हैं और जान की भीख मांगने के लिए मजबूर हैं। आज आप देखते होंगे इन पर गिरगिराते हुए और मैं फिर आया हूं आपसे कहने के लिए भाइयों बहनों मैं तो आपको यही आश्वासन देने के लिए आया हूं एक बात बताऊं मैं और वह बात है समाजवादी पार्टी के वरिष्ठ नेता मुझसे कहे कि अब चुनाव के दौरान तो बुलडोजर नहीं चलेगा मैंने कहा चिंता मत करो कभी कभी उस बुलडोजर को रेस्ट भी चाहिए होता है Launching a skating attack at Chief Minister Yogi Arityanath led Uttar Pradesh government in poll-bound Jalwan on February 18 and said that the state is the most unsafe place for women today. A girl went missing two days ago from here and her body was found today. Who is responsible for this? Baba Chief Minister is responsible for this. Data shows Uttar Pradesh is the most unsafe place for women today, said Akhilesh Yadav. <laughs> लापता हुई दो दिन पहले एक बच्ची दो दिन पहले लापता हुई बताओ बाबा मुख्यमंत्री झांसी में सो रहे थे ये झांसी में सो रहे थे यहीं पर और लापता हो गई और आज सुनने में आया कि उसकी लाश मिली है कौन जिम्मेदार है अगर कोई जिम्मेदार है उसके लिए तो बाबा मुख्यमंत्री जिम्मेदार है और ये मैं नहीं कहता आंकड़े उठा लो हम तो कहेंगे पत्रकार साथियों आप भी ईमानदार बन जाओ कभी कभी आंकड़े दिखाया करो
के सबसे ज्यादा असुरक्षित देश में महिलाएं कहीं हैं तो वो उत्तर प्रदेश में हैं सबसे ज्यादा असुरक्षित महिलाएं अगर कहीं हैं तो उत्तर प्रदेश में हैं India recorded 25,920 new cases of the novel coronavirus along with 492 deaths due to the infection in the past 24 hours. According to the data shared by the Union Health Ministry on February 18, the country saw a total of 66,254 discharges in the last 24 hours, taking the total recovery rate at around 98.12% and total recoveries data reached to 4 crore 19,77,238. The total active cases of COVID-19 in India have declined to 2,92,900, the ministry data showed today. The total death toll in the country is now at 5,10,905 in India. The first death due to the COVID pandemic was reported in March 2020. The daily positivity rate is at 2.07% today. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.